In today's video, we're opening an entire case of the new Valiant Smashers Yu-Gi-Oh set. It's a set that is for Yu-Gi-Oh. What's up guys, we're back with another video. We will be opening entire case today. Uh, my voice is a little bit iffy right now, I'm not gonna lie. I've been, I didn't talk at all yesterday. I'm trying to save my voice for the Whatnot stream tomorrow and the big Valiant Smasher stream Saturday. So I'm gonna get right into it. By the way, the giveaway for this video will be giving away a booster box of this set. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. Favorite card in this set, Archlord Christia is probably gonna win a lot of those. Oh, we're starting it off with something already. Okay, ultra rare, center iron right off the bat. I literally have not talked this much since two days ago. And it's likely that this is not gonna be good for my voice, but I'm going to, look, we do case openings for every new set. Doesn't matter if we're excited about the set, like this one. So I'm gonna do my best to get through this. I'm gonna be a try to be a little more calm, a little more zen today. So I don't mess anything up because it feels like I can talk right now, but it feels like I'm teetering on the edge of dying from talking too much. So we're gonna see. If I can make it, we have a super rare. A lot of times these are the streams where people tell me I talk too much. So maybe today you guys will be happy and I won't talk enough. Maybe that'll be it. <laughs> maybe you guys, it'll be the perfect amount for you people that don't like it. Okay, we have an ultra rare so far. We are looking for that Arts Lord Christia. I've not pulled a quarter century or a collector rare yet out of this set. So yeah, we have not done so well. And probably because I hated on it, said it sucked. I mean, we pulled the rare. So if you're watching this and you see the rare, you're like, you just pulled it. Not the rares, I'm talking about the high-end ones, the quarter century, the collector rares, stuff like that. Okay, we've pulled, yeah, so we've pulled Arcelor Christia, but not the big one. That's the card I'm really looking for. If we don't get it today, we're definitely gonna be looking for it on Saturday during the live stream. It's gonna be fun, I'm excited about that. And do not forget about the whatnot stream tomorrow night. I'm hoping I'll feel better by then. Uh, it's been a crappy few days, but fortunately I recorded most of my videos ahead of time. Uh, this one, on the other hand, I didn't, so. <laughs> We are, we're figuring it out, but what not tomorrow night, make sure you're there. The first 11 sets ever made LOB through ASD. Um, we've already sold out of MFC. So we've sold out six of them were available at buy it now. Still five left that you can buy from. If you would like to go check that out, use my code that will be linked in the description. You can get $15 for free. That can go toward your first pack. So it should be amazing. Assuming that I can talk <laughs> either way. Uh, we'll, we'll still be doing the stream because you know what? We're locked into it. We have a super rare right there. We have literally pulled one ultra so far. Which remember, this is a collector rare set, so it's gonna happen. We have a center iron, so a lot of center. I've been saying iron, it's ion. <laughs> you know, I realized that in the, co I saw the comments and somebody said center ion, and I was like, wait, that's not what I've been saying. Not iron, ion, okay, different thing. I don't know why I read iron, I just did. The way I say iron sounds weird too, iron, iron. Okay, we have a Valmonica. So far, not even a collector rare, which is, you know, it's a case opening. We should, in theory, get one. But you guys remember Grand Creators, if you're longtime fans of the channel. Crazy that that was a long time ago, Grand Creators. A year and like, over a year and a half ago, actually. Wow, that's pretty insane. Uh, but if you're a longtime fan, you've been around since then, you remember that. All right, Valiant Smasher smashing our wallet right now. We have not really pulled anything. Still pre-release prices. We're still pre-release locked at the time of recording this. It's Thursday, the day before. When I'm recording this, you're seeing it Friday. You know, obviously Kenneth, he's not like a miracle worker. He can't do a day of on a case opening. Uh, even though he, well, he kind of is a miracle worker, but you know, not like at that level. So yeah, just respect him in the comments. I understand we are still pre-release locked with the prices. So they are gonna be a little bit crazier than they probably are at the time of watching the video. But some of them might be close. So you just wanna give you an idea of kind of what the better cards are with those prices, not necessarily an exact, you know, end all be all value. A lot of times that people don't really understand that. They watch a video like six months later, and like that card's not 50 bucks, it's 20. I'm like, it's cause this was six months ago. It's like, it's, it isn't now, but it was then. We're getting straight into it. No funny business. We are just opening packs. We're not really taking our time on anything. That's because I can barely talk, but uh, I'm doing my best, okay? Vol Monica. And great, of course, that, that stream tomorrow is gonna be like five hours long. So uh, yeah, I've been resting my voice as much as possible, drinking tea uh, with honey in it. I've been uh, taking all kinds of allergy medicine, which I already take daily. So it's just like ramping that up even more. This happens to me like every year. I can't, I can't avoid it. My voice just goes away at some point during the, uh, you know, the colder months. So it's kind of annoying. It's a thing that happens. I, I'm cue all you guys recommending things that will fix my voice. It's just a thing that happens uh, every single time. So unfortunate, but it is something that is going on. We have a Valmonica. It's kind of rough. Like before you lose your voice, it didn't really matter. But now that I have to like record stuff, it's like, oh, well, can't really do anything. 
I mean, I can do a lot of stuff, but I can't do recordings, which is a problem. Fortunately, uh, I used to be like, I would never record ahead of time because I was editing my own stuff. And that was a nightmare. Cause like, I'd be like four straight days without my voice. And I'd be like, what do I do for videos? I don't know what to do because I don't have a voice. Okay, we have a center ion, not iron, another ultra. But now I have a couple videos that I recorded before it got really bad. So fortunately for that, we will have a couple PSA returns that I recorded coming soon. Which, uh, by the way, if you want to get a little sneak preview of those, you can buy some stuff on my, my website. So I listed some of those cards on my website, ruxon34.com. That's all I'm going to give you because I don't want to spoil too much of the uh, the videos coming. But there are some listed there if you're interested. Some people have already found them. So yeah, if you're, if you're keeping an eye on ruxon34.com, recently I've been doing a lot more stuff on there. I've been putting a lot of, oh, we got a, is that a crimp? No, it isn't, okay. I've been posting singles, I've been posting sealed, stuff that you can get open, stuff that you can be ship sealed. A lot of cool stuff like that. If you wanna see it, box breaks, of course, have always been on there, but uh, there's like a couple hundred items on there now versus normally there used to be like three. Okay, Dying Smashers has been pretty boring for me. I'm not gonna lie, I can't pull anything good out of it. Not only can I not pull a card I won, I can't pull even like a high rarity card. So we're looking, we're attempting to get there. We have a, oh, speaking of, look at that. Asking you shall receive a collector rare center iron, ion, not iron. <laughs> I keep saying it, ion emeth. Okay, collector rare, very nice, cool stuff. Okay, next up, we have a dark honest. We have a, oh, back to back. Okay, all right. So I was like, well, we hadn't got anything that I, you know, high rarity. We get two in a row, two collector rares. There's only four in this case. We just got two in two packs. That's pretty insane. All right, we'll take it. Uh, I'm interested to see what the, the QCR ratios are though. Still haven't pulled any of those. We opened three boxes previously. Here's a whole new case. So we should see like the case ratio, I would guess here. Uh, I'm guessing it would be like three per case. That would be good because then you get seven high rarity cards. It seems decent versus like, you know, when they're separated, you get three QCRs, that's it. And here you only get four collector rares, so it's not a lot. Okay, Valiant Smashers, keep on smashing. We got a couple of collector rares, which is very solid. Not the best set ever. I've noticed you guys were not super excited about it in the comments. I did ask if you were, and a lot of you guys were like, eh, not really. So, yeah, I understand. It's not like the best set. There are a few nice rare reprints, like, you know, Spooky Dogwood, A Foolish Burial. I think there was an uh, Arch Lord Crucia, obviously. Uh, there's a couple more, you know, Baguska is not a bad card. There's a couple things in here that aren't bad. And then there's the new archetypes that I know people, a few people are excited about those. I saw that. Some people were like, yeah, I've been really pumped for these three archetypes. That's the cool part about the collector rare sets is they have three brand new archetypes, which uh, I, I don't, it's amazing that they can just keep making new archetypes and they're like unique and everything like that. Pretty difficult thing to do, making new sets that are actually good. We have, uh, which obviously this one's not so much, but <laughs> Just like, I, I understand the struggle with trying to make a new archetype every time that's actually pretty good. We have another Ultra, the Combined Creation. Okay, still a lot of packs left. The voice is ready to stop talking. I can tell you that right now. Uh, there, there can be only one. That's a good one. Not there can only be one. There can be only one. That's the one I always get wrong. Gravity, another Super. Yeah, Valiant Smashers. A little bit of a more low-key video today in this one. Hopefully you guys still enjoy opening, you know, watching the opening and everything like that. I'm hoping that we'll be feeling better for the next couple of days. Gonna try to rest the voice, even though I do have to do a, uh, I have to do the announcing for a basketball game tonight. That's gonna be tough. Like announcing as in like the PA, you know, just like the, just a few things. Not like literally every play, but just the baskets and the fouls and everything. So it's gonna be hard like this. It's gonna be hard. Uh, I'm gonna rest after this recording. I'm gonna get this to Kenneth. I'm gonna not say a word until that tonight. So hopefully I will, that won't hurt me for tomorrow. And then tomorrow I can not talk all day until, <laughs> until we actually get to the stream. So this is the least I've talked in a long time. I didn't realize how, you don't really realize how much you don't stop talking until you can't talk anymore. You're like, man, I never shut up. Okay, which is guess what? I should have realized it. Those emails told me all along. <laughs> You talk too much. We got the bone party. Bone party. Interesting. Okay, where's the QCRs? Like, how hard are they to pull? Because, like, they shouldn't change the ratios, right? I mean, I guess they have QCRs that are promos. They have QCRs that are one every three. 
uh, or one every four boxes, then you could have, I guess, QCRs that are even rarer. I mean, that's the weird part about this rarity. Some of them are hard to pull, some of them are not. Uh, hard to keep up with, to be honest. It makes it confusing. I feel like they, it should be consistent with the rarity. It shouldn't be like hard to pull in one, easy to pull in another. Because then like you see it and you think, oh, it's rare. And then you're like, well, no, it's not actually. That's what people in like 10 years will be so confused about. They'll be like, oh yeah, I have one of those quarter century secrets from the 25th anniversary. It's super rare, right? They're hard to pull. And they're like, no, that was in a 10. <laughs> And you're like, oh, never mind. Oh, Monica. And they'll be like, but but no, no, that's like the people I don't understand now. They're like, this is rare. I'm like, no, it's not. They're like, yeah, no, it is. I'm like, okay, sure. Believe it. Believe it if you want, but it's not. Let's keep going. We have a center ion. Not iron. Ion. I'm almost saying the same thing though, with that the way I'm saying it. Emblema Oath, another ultra. You know that okay, I will say, I don't like collector rare sets. There's one thing I really love about them, and that is when I'm listing the cards, there's hardly any pulls. So it's super easy to list. Because if it's like three ultras per 12 box, you get 36 pulls, and then you get the collector rares, and that's it. So I guess we might have QCRs here, I hope. Uh, so I'll add a couple more. So it's like 40, 50 cards after list, that's it. Because the supers are never worth anything, the rares are never worth anything. So it's very easy on me. A lot of times though, you take L's though. <laughs> They're usually not worth too much, but uh, it is nice because when I do something like rarity collection in every freaking card, I got to check and make sure it's not worth something. Uh, that's a nightmare to list on TCG player and on my website, which I will be listing cards from the set on my website. I will probably wait to do that until we do the live stream though. So whenever we do the live stream Saturday, I'll probably get all my stuff together that I'm going to list. I'll post it on my website, everything over 20 bucks, anything under 20, I usually put on TCG player. That's the new thing I've been doing with my website instead of, uh, posting everything on TCG cause they take a much bigger fee. Then my website, I just take the PayPal fee or the uh, Stripe fee. So I save a lot, like a large percentage there, about 10%. So it's a little bit better for me to sell it there. Just takes longer to list on my website. But I figured if I, if you have, I'm going to tell you guys about it and you guys know it's going to be there. I might as well just list it there. We have a super and uh, I think that's the right to say. It's also a little bit easier to ship from my website. So it, the time to list is a little longer, but the time to ship is a little bit better. So I think it actually evens out. And especially when I only have a few different listings, like with collector rare sets, it makes it way easier. And with uh, rarity collection, there's only a few cards over 20 bucks, so it didn't really. And with this one, maybe because there's so few listings, I might put everything on there. Oh, we finally got a QCR. Uh, where is it? Right here? Wait. Okay, yeah, it's at the end. Okay, our first QCR out of Valiant Smashers, whatever this card, this thing's called. Will it be the Arch Lord Christie? I think there's only three QCRs in here. Let's see. We got the Trick Clown. We have a Magic Planter. By the way, we saw it on the side. That's how we know it was there. Uh, okay, uh, for the short, we have Supply Squad, Advanced Draw, Call of the Haunted. Uh, we have the Lutea and... Okay, we have a Center Ion Legatia. So this is not Arch Lord Christia. All right, so we did get at least a QCR. I don't know how many we're going to get, but I'm hoping it's three. Maybe we'll get all of them. Who knows? Oh, another. Oh, another collector rare. Wait, they make these easier. Or are we just getting all of them? Dark, wait, dark, honest collector rare. That's a weird choice. This isn't even an old card. It's from Lightning Overdrive. I guess uh, two years, but interest. That's a weird one. OK, so we have three collector rares and a QCR already. OK. I feel like Dark Honest is not going to do well because that wasn't even an expensive card normally. <laughs> it's kind of funny. All right. Uh, well, I mean, we'll take it, I guess. Uh, four pulls already. So I'm getting hope that maybe that we get more than three and four, like seven total pulls. But honestly, I'm not going to get my hopes up too much. We have a super should have one more collector or two more QCRs if it's normal ratio, which I'm guessing is probably just what it is. And we're just getting a little lucky getting them earlier. All right. Valiant Smashers. Keep on smashing. We have a Angelo. Super excited for that stream tomorrow though. Actually, the word is really I'm anxious for the stream because of my voice. I would be excited. I would be pumped if it, I you know, had a normal voice right now. I am anxious now that I'm not gonna be able to talk. I've been anxious for the last like three days, but like, am I gonna be able to talk? Nervous, anxious, what's the right word for that? Whichever one it is, I'm just worried that it, I mean, it's gonna get there. I'm gonna be like coughing, which I'm hoping I'm trying not to do. Just hope that doesn't happen. So that's why we're keeping it low today, but I am excited because that is a crazy, crazy stream. And I'm also pumped that a lot of the packs have sold already. We got uh, Ian actually helped out with a little uh, a little giveaway for the stream. I haven't decided exactly what it's gonna be, but I think it may be some packs opened for a random person in the stream. So you wanna make sure you are there. It's probably gonna be dual casted onto YouTube, but if you wanna win a giveaway, you gotta be there on whatnot as well. So make sure you 
go to the whatnot thing. That's where you can get some. We'll have more giveaways as well, like rarity collection. Giving away, I think, three boxes of that at the moment. I'm going to be adding more giveaways. Haven't completely decided what I want to do just yet. But when I'm, you know, resting my voice, I'll have plenty of time to figure that out. But it should be a pretty epic event. I mean, I'm really pumped. We're going to also be, if you can't make the stream, which I hope you can, but if you can't, we will be cutting this down into 11 different videos. There's another collector room, the Trudea, because we're going to have the first 11 sets. So we're probably going to do a little fun thing at the beginning of December doing like uh, December 1st to like December 11th with starting with AST going all the way to LOB. And so uh, that way you guys can relive it. One, if you were there, you can relive it in a cut down priced out version. We'll probably have some TSA prices and everything for everything pulled. Uh, and if you weren't there, then obviously you can live it for the first time. So I think that'll be pretty fun. Also, December is usually kind of like a slower month because of, uh, you know, slower in terms of there's not anything new, which is like probably a good thing for Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's usually like, you know, top 25 pulls and stuff like that. So we're going to do, we're going to start it off, I think, with uh, those booster boxes being opened and you guys get to get to watch those. And obviously LOB being open is pretty crazy and you get to revisit all those old school ones. And then we'll do some other classic stuff as well in December, such as the top 25, such as, uh, you know, reviewing best sets of the year like we did last year. That was fun. Probably have a stinker of the year. Put in your. I'm, I might actually put out a little form so you guys can vote. So if you're not, if you're in the Discord, you'll probably get to vote. So go join the Discord. It's free, by the way. There is a paid version if you want to support me, um, but that it, the the free version is like like 75% of it probably. You don't actually need to pay to get in on it. So go check that out. If you made, if you guys make it far into this video, I'm gonna be shocked because the way I'm talking, I'm not very enthusiastic. You guys might appreciate that. Let's just say that. Okay, we are making progress on this opening. I feel like I'm opening pretty fast today. We got another collector rare. I didn't even really acknowledge it. We have Trudea, the collector rare. So we have four collector rares, one QCR. Very interesting. We have a Memento, Memento Clan Bone Party. The Bone Party. It's bones. You know what's nice about not being able to talk is I'm not trying to pronounce these names. I'm just skipping over them. I'm like, yep. That's a super, <laughs> making it easier on me. All right, we have a Memento Lone Bone Party, whatever that thing's called. Another Bone Party. A lot of those Bone Parties going on right now. A lot of cards being opened today. All right, all right, Valiant Smashers. Let's keep going. We have a, another one of those Link guys. Pull like three out of the last four packs. A lot of the same cards. Longer video. If you guys do like this set though, don't forget I do have an affiliate link. 5% off of my discount code. I know, not the best set ever. I'm not like saying you should go buy it, but if you do like it, you might as well use my code, right? So personally, not super excited. If you are excited about the Arch Lord Christia though, maybe, or if you're excited about the three archetypes coming out, this might be for you. Not my favorite. That's why we're not going super crazy on it. We're doing our normal stuff, but uh, Saturday, uh, we're probably not going to open like an insane amount, but I think we should be able to get the Christia fairly easily because if there's only three QCRs in theory, it shouldn't be that hard, right? Um, we have a, okay, combined creation. Well, I, I really don't know if we're doing well because like if the center ion are good, then, then we're probably good because we've gotten a lot of those collector. If they're not good, then we're probably not doing so well. Center iron bonds. Valiant Smashers, come on. We have a Valmonica Intenair. I'm slowly getting to the end. We're probably like halfway through, I would say right now. Uh, we have, oh, Yalmonica, the Agathococological voice. Agathococological voice. I don't think that's how you say that, but that's, that's a long one, okay? What do you expect from me? I can barely talk, much less pronounce that, okay? Much less pronounced that. We have a Center Iron Bonds again. Magician of Bonds and Unity. When's that, the next one coming out soon? Is it going to have a red background? I really don't know. I think there's, what, two more? There are four total or three total. We pull the yellow one. We have not pulled the green one. Center Iron Bonds. These cards are going everywhere. Another QCR. Will it happen? Or is it like one per case? Did they make it harder? Who knows? Valmonica, here we go. I've realized that now I don't look through my camera, I just look at the name. Maybe that's why I was doing that with the platinum thing, Sean. I look above my phone and all I could see is the name of the card. I don't know, <laughs> that's the, like the way I do. I have to like think about it to look down. Like I really, I guess maybe it's because of the motion and it's like less shifty, I guess, on like the camera. It's not like any like motion sickness kind of thing happening. I'm just watching it on the real thing. Maybe that's why, I don't know. Who knows, I think I need to get my contacts checked out because like I can't even like look at computer screens at night anymore. I'm like, Ugh. so I don't know what's going on. I have terrible vision, that's all I know. So it's been bad for a long time since like, I think I got glasses in like third, 
second grade, third grade, I think it was what it was. Not totally sure, actually. We have a uh, Trudea Center Ion. We do have that in Collector Rare. That was our last Collector Rare pull. The Smashers of Valiant. Give us another QCR. So far, we only have one. So maybe they're only like two per case, even one per case. Who knows? We could have pulled it already. I'm not totally sure. Look at this guy. The Horned Dragon. Pretty cool. We'll try horn action. Is that a trihorn like retrain? I'm not totally sure. Delegatia. I think we have that one in Collector Rare as well. A lot of packs are being opened, but we are not pulling any QCR Archlord Christia. I'm going to say that. I'm going to throw that out there. No Archlord Christia just yet. Still looking. Longer video, but I think we might actually make this one a little shorter. Last time at Rarity Collection, we did the two case opening on our video. That was long. That was too long. I decided, you know what? We can't do two cases. That's just too much. But for Rarity Collection, it was okay because Rarity Collection was so good. For a set like this, I don't think we're getting to two cases. Yeah, this set's not great. Um, center Ion. Very cool. Oh, man. Oh, man. Here we go. We have a Momenta Land Mace. Packs are, our cards are trying to go everywhere, but I refuse to allow it to happen. We have a super right there. Valiant Smashers. Let me tell you, with this kind of set, when there's not so much hype, it is so much less stressful for the selling. As I was saying earlier, just in general, we don't order like, ten, like we, we went crazy with Rarity Collection. That took forever. And especially with the seven rarities, oh my goodness, it was an absolute nightmare to list. I had to make sure every time I was clicking uh, Prismatic Collector or not pl Prismatic Ultimate Rare, they, they had seven versions, so I'm trying not to mess up any of them. I think I only messed up a couple on the listings, and then on the, the packaging and everything. And then there was like so many different money cards I had to list. It was rough. It was super, super rough trying to get those all straight. So, I mean, I'm not going to lie. These CR sets, while boring, they make it nice and boring on the listing, which is what you want. You want it to be nice and easy. There's only a couple collector rares that you can't really mess them up. There's only the ultra rare so there's, there's not even secrets or anything i don't have to really mess up any of that stuff so it will make this so much easier this weekend when i'm going through and listing stuff which is going to be a crazy weekend because we're going to have all those whatnot orders i'm gonna have to ship and then i'm gonna list these and they're gonna have to ship so it's gonna be a nutty an absolutely nutty weekend and next week so it's already been a crazy week this week because of um, a couple sponsors we had a sponsor this week already we have the whatnot stream uh, is a sponsored thing. And then we have a uh, raid, raid stream this Saturday for this. So it's another sponsor. So dealing with those is like, you got to get everything coordinated. You got to make sure you have the right stuff. You got to get everything posted that you're supposed to post. It is, it's a lot, it's a lot. So doing this all at once. And then of course, I feel like crap all week. So that's not fun. Um, I, for the most part, feel okay. I just like, you can tell, I can tell my voice is going away and I'm like, ah, crap. You just feel a little bit, you know, congested and stuff, which is never a good feeling. But the nice part is I am able to still work and stuff. So I like, get stuff listed on ruxin34.com, stuff like that. I'm not like having to like sleep all day. So that's good. I'm not completely out of commission, but I am out of commission on the part that's kind of important, which is talking. <laughs> so yeah, oh yeah, if you guys have made it at this point in the video, we gotta have a secret code. I'm impressed with you guys, if you guys have made it this long, especially with me talking like this. Gotta be something about the voice. How about uh, Hyper Voice Ruxin? That sounds like a, that's something good. I'm using the Pokemon move. Hyper Voice Rux, Hyper Voice Ruxin, whatever you wanna say, something like that. And then people be like, what? They're like, oh, why is they saying hyper voice? Is it because he's lost his voice? No, it's because you're. it's a special code for all you real viewers, you true committed fans of the channel right now that are here 30 minutes in. And we have made a significant progress. I'm very happy with myself that I've made it this far without any significant issues. I'm gonna jinx myself, so knock on wood for me right now. But uh, we have made it, the recording at least, this far. So that's good, that's a good thing. <laughs> What if I looked up and there, it wasn't recording? This would be the absolute worst time for that to happen. It is recording now, so we're good. Center iron. This is also the first time I haven't streamed on Twitch all week because of my voice. I needed to rest my voice both uh, Wednesday and Monday. And then Friday, we're gonna be doing the whatnot stream, so we won't be streaming then. So this will be the first time all year which it was one of my commitments to do three a week. And I've done pretty good on that. Other than like something, I, if it re is replaced by YouTube or something like that, I don't count that. And then if I'm sick, I'm not, obviously if I'm sick, that shouldn't count against me, right? Let's keep going. So uh, yeah, overall we've done pretty good on that goal, but unfortunately we had to, this week we couldn't really get to it. So we'll get back to that. Hopefully next week I'll be good, but I have a bad feeling that this is gonna last a while, which is not good. All the remedies hopefully will help though. All, all the remedies will help, I'm hoping. Another super. We're getting down to where we can see the end, which is pretty nice. Center ion. This is all center ion, it feels like. Every ultra, almost every ultra at least, is center ion. So I'm guessing that's the big one of the set, the big uh, archetype. Okay. 
Valiant Smashers, it's been quite a battle. We have a Valmonica, Celta. So Valmonica, at least they have that ultra, I guess. Feels like a lot more, uh, not too many of them are, but I think there's a couple ultras. We have a Valmonica Super, there's plenty of those. The big benefit of these sets is that you can build a deck some, not, not easily, but easier than other decks. Cause you know, a lot of the cards are in here. You do have to buy some boxes though, or buy all the singles obviously, but they don't take like one box. They take a couple of boxes, I think. Okay, we have a Mento Anguish. So, okay, there's some cards that are not center eye on Ultra Rare. Maybe I'm just getting the same ones over and over potentially. All right, Arch Nemesis, Angelo, almost to the end of the, uh, we call this the voice marathon. Pack opening, voice lost marathon. Seeing if we can do it. Get all the way to the end. Colossal Fighter, another nice reprint. Just saw that like 30 minutes in. I just, oh yeah, that's a good one. Okay, is that up a collector rare in here? It probably does, right? All right, all right. We are definitely down to, we're definitely over half. I'm gonna say we're probably like a third left, maybe a fourth. Five, six, seven, nine, nine stacks. If those have like 10 packs, these would be 90 packs. It'd be about three point something boxes. Yeah, probably where we are. Well, one of the stacks doesn't have that many. We have Emblema Oath. So that's another non-center ion. So center ion might just have less than I thought. Maybe we're just pulling those same ones over and over. We could be down to like 72 packs left, three boxes, something like that. Okay. That one's nothing too exquisite, exciting there. I'm really wondering about these QCR ratios though. I guess we're gonna find out very soon. If there's nothing left in here, one in a case is actually like, oh, that's not as easy as I thought they'd be. The Archlord Christia may not appear as often as I would like, which even then it's still only one every three cases if it's one per case on average. So that's still like less than a normal, way less than a normal Starlight or Collector Rare. So it's not that crazy. Keep on going. We have a stand up center ion. Stand up? Is he a comedian or something? What's going on there? Comedian ion? So is that supposed to be like centurion? Is that what the, is that what that is? Do you say centurion or do you say centurion? Uh, wow, it took me this long to realize this. Yeah, it's kind of cringe. Okay, I figured it out. I think it's supposed to be centur centurion. So we have some some biblical references. That's pretty cool. Also, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it center ion? Centurion? I bet it's center ion, but it's like based on centurion, right? Trying to figure this out very late. This is what happens in long streams. You start looking at them differently the whole time. You're like, what is this? Valmonica. And these QCRs, man, they're not really showing up very well. QCR ain't showing up. Center ion bonds, centurion bonds. We are down to a small amount left. Super, very small amount. We are down to our last few hopes to get I would say we're at like six in a stack times nine or 50, well, it's still 54. Might as well, this one doesn't have a lot, but some of them probably don't have six in the stack. That's still a decent amount of packs though. Last little bit, come on. Valmonic, I'm getting hot in here. This room is cooking and I need to, this room that I, the room that I record in, if for some reason it gets super hot. So it might be because I have a million things in here. That's possibly why, but it gets really hot. Too many, too much cardboard. It's overheating my room at this point. We have a zebra. Where are you? QCR's chosen melody. We are, uh, we, w we went, or we got a lot of high rarity cards early. We got like one collector in the last like 100 packs, it feels like. So that's the problem with these sets. Not the most exciting to open up, uh, cause it can be quite a while before you pull anything good. There's an ultra at least, Legatia. Let's see if we can get something epic. We have a, uh oh, Center Ion, Trudia, Trudia. Oh man, I just kicked that pack with my finger. Can you kick with a finger? Not really sure. I just said that I did. Not sure if you can even do that. Will we get anything else crazy before the end of this? I'm not sure. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll end on a dud. I don't know. I feel like we're going to get another QCR, right? You're not going to get one in a case, right? Even though, I don't know, one seems more likely than two though, now that I think about it. Because one per case, you know, that's pretty standard. A lot of things have done it. Ghost rares, you know, whatever. I guess it was just Ghost Rares. Has anything else been one per case? I guess they made Starlight's one per case for Battles of Legend and Crystal Revenge. It's just a thing that it's just easy to do. So they could make these one per case, which Battles of Legend and Crystal Revenge was the last set of the year. And this is the last set of the year. So who knows? Maybe there's some correlation there. If you don't include the, the uh, structure deck or whatever, which that doesn't count. That doesn't count as a set. All right, Valiant Smashers. We're down to the last couple boxes here for sure. We have a Memento. I'm saying Memento Bone Party. There's like more after that. Memento it's land, Memento it's land, but I'm not gonna, it's too hard. I'm just gonna say Memento, okay? Just gonna say Memento. My voice can't handle it right now. Wow. 
Okay, this has been epic. Don't forget, guys, before you leave, to go bookmark my whatnot show tomorrow. Go to the link in the description. $15 for free, by the way, if you have never done that uh, for whatever you buy on whatnot. And just bookmark the show. Go to Ruxa34 uh, profile. You, you can go to shows. There's a little tab that says shows. You can just press that bookmark and you guys will not miss the stream. It starts at 5 p.m. Central tomorrow. Hopefully you guys can be there. I know some of you guys in like Europe and stuff, it's going to be a little late for you guys, but it's kind of just a good time for everybody else, unfortunately. But it'll, it'll, you'll be able to see some of it before it ends. And as I said, there will be videos coming out. So if you miss something, you'll be able to see that. Okay, we have Dino, Demono, Demono. Wow, it's looking like we might only get one QCR, which means Saturday is actually going to be a more interesting stream than expected. It might be a little harder than I thought. Okay, last pack on this this uh, little pile over here. Okay, some of these have more, they have like three packs left, so let's get to those. Monica, cut these down a little bit, cut them down to size for the last few packs of the opening. Thank you guys for enjoying the video, even though I don't sound the best right now. I'm a little proud of myself though, for getting through it and sounding relatively normal. You know, I'm not as excited as normal because I can't get as excited as normal or else I'm gonna, you know, you know when you have this like thing and then it feels like you, like cut into your throat and then it's like just there for the rest of the day and you just start coughing every time you talk. Well, that I'm trying to avoid that happening. So that's why I'm being a little quieter. Um, I've already said that a million times, but yeah, so you guys understand. But thank you guys for watching it and enjoying it anyway. And uh, don't forget, you know, we got a big stream tomorrow and tonight. So we got the White Knot stream tonight, Giant Smasher stream tomorrow. There will be giveaways in both of those. So if you are, want to potentially want a giveaway, I also announced the giveaway winners uh, recently on the YouTube community tab. Uh, still a couple that I have not shipped from last time. So don't freak out yet. I've just had a lot going on. So we'll be getting there soon. Will we get another QCR? I'm guessing no at this point. One QCR per case. So it's, yeah, I was acting like, oh yeah, well, uh, they made these a little better by putting QCRs. They added one guard. <laughs> per case one card so that does make it a little better but yeah one card per case not the most exciting um it is cool that it is qcr but the thing is qcrs are e really easy to get in rarity collection so it's like okay i'm getting a much harder to pull rarity that i can pull in rarity collection really easily so kind of a weird thing there i'm not really sure how i feel about them using the same rarity and different pull rates so many times yeah, so in Rarity Collection, it's like three per box and you can get them one every four boxes in a regular set and here it's one every case and then you can get them as promos. So they're all over the map. They're literally everything. So at this point, I'm assuming, unless these two were QCRs, which would be crazy, that you're getting one per case. Pretty strange. Uh, stand up Centurion. And the final pack of the video. If you guys have enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. Hopefully I'll be more upbeat in future videos when I can actually talk. And don't forget, of course, the Whatnot stream tonight at 5 p.m. And the stream tomorrow is going to be epic as well. We got nothing in there. So yeah, okay. That was, yeah. That's a collector rare set for you. Not that exciting to open up. Five big pulls. Shout out to Tone Fofo Show, Daxer, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Dian, American Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Liu, Gwine 62, Yu-Gi-Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Bardic, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.